You lock your car doors thinking it'll keep the criminals away, but for one triad woman that didn't work. A thief still made off with her wallet. And police think a stolen car from the same night is connected. WFMY News 2's Marissa Tancino spoke with the Mebbin woman who lost her wallet and everything in it. You just don't think it would happen to you. But it did. Angela Lee says she even made sure to lock her doors before coming upstairs Sunday night. My daughter went outside around 945 to get her phone charger out of the car and came back and was like, you know, my charger's missing, so I went down to look for it. When she took a look in her car, everything seemed normal, but her chargers were missing and her wallet, which was in the center console, was gone. And in the time that it took me to file a police report and call my bank, they had already used my cards on Hillsborough Road in Durham. That's about 20 miles away from her home on Quaker Creek Drive in Mebane. Luckily, only $11 was spent on her card, but she's uneasy knowing her information, including her driver's license, is in someone else's hands. You now I was walking my dogs yesterday. You catch yourself kind of looking over your shoulder. Um, that's something that I've never had to do before. Her car wasn't the only one hit. That same night, a car was stolen from the apartment complex right next door. Fear, um, you kind of feel violated, you feel uncomfortable. The thief got away with the car and a wallet with several cards inside. Police reports show charges were made to some of the cards also in Durham. Police believe the crimes are connected, but have very limited information. People have kids, people have families, and then someone who just doesn't want to work or doesn't have anything better to do with their time just comes and takes something that doesn't belong to them. So it's disheartening. The investigation into both cases is still ongoing at this time. Angela says she hopes the person is caught so it doesn't happen to anyone else.